What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wicked day. In this video, we're gonna be doing some more power to football stuff. And yeah, in this video, we're gonna be checking out Aspire versus West Brom. But this is the title decider. This match does decide who wins the Premier League. And West Brom are basically three points behind Aspire. And both teams have two games to go. So if West Brom want to win the league, they need to beat Aspire here. So right now we're 30 minutes in, it's nil-nil. The last 10 minutes, anyway, anyone could win, it could go anyway. So I thought we'd check out the last 10 minutes. And this happened last week, so obviously I already know what happens, but we're gonna go analyze it anyways. So if you're enjoying this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And yeah, now it's the off season, so the power trip videos will slow down a little bit. I'll be doing some other stuff now because obviously there's no new footage to talk about. But we'll talk about that another day anyway. Let's get straight into the footage. And let's see who wins the title, man. Let's check it out. Okay. Alright, so straight away we're off with a miscue from Chris. And John and Chris going at it as usual. And if you saw the other video, like I said, Chris and John, they've been known. And they've been playing for years, man. They know each other's game in and out. That's the Brad Bates goes take the ball. It's been straight cut out, but again, John's in the right place, right time, he's ready to take the ball. Marcus goes to challenge him. John does him. A nice little flick, Dan's on the ball. He tries to take it wide, he's trying to flick it. It's a good battle going on here. And again, on, oh my god, that's a big hit there. Oh, and he's got Harris's yellow card for that. That's a mad hit. He really went for him there. Not sure why Chris is um, complaining there because that's a foul, man. <laughs> that's a big foul. So again, there, it's a foul because we have a rule where it's called excessive force. So if you're going into the ball really hard, no matter even if you win the challenge, if you go in too hard, they call it excessive force and that's a foul. And obviously we've only seen the first minute, you've not seen throughout this match, the West Brom players have been quite aggressive. So it's an accumulation of bad tackles, you get a yellow card. Now Chris is on the ball, he's trying to bait, he's trying to bait John in, he fakes it and goes round. It's a good battle going on. He leaves it for Marcus. Marcus can't really do anything with that. And John's on the ball. Again, John's done, Chris. He's trying to get the flick. He's trying to flick. He's baiting him in. It's good play. Good battling. Good battling. Both guys going at it. Now, Lewis, he has to be careful not to touch John. No fouls. No contact. And he's doing well, he's doing well, and that's clever there by John. Plays it off Lewis's back wheel. Aspire throw. So you can see my Aspire dominating this. John's thinking where to go. He tries to give it to Brad. Brad's trying to reverse on it. Oh, well, Marcus kept it in. What's going on here? Alright, the ref's called something. I'm not sure what he's called it for. Did he say the ball went out of play? Yeah, he did. Okay, it looked like Marcus kept that in, but okay. Alright, so Brad's, Brad's about to take it. Ah, that's a weird one. Let's go back here. What the hell was that? I'm not sure what the thought process was with this. I think it's just trying to waste time. Because like I said, the West Brom need to win this match, right? They need to win because they're three points behind. They need to beat Aspire here. So I think what Brad's doing there is just trying to waste the time, run the clock. Because Aspire, no, if it's a draw, it doesn't matter for them because they can still win the league with that. But for West Brom, that's not an option. So I think that's the tactic there is to try to waste a bit of time. I think. 
And refs, let me go back there. Ref said there's contact there. Let's go back again. I didn't see any contact, but let's see. Oh, I see. Okay, he rams. He rams Brad's back bumper there and gives a foul. Got to be careful when you're ramming at the ball like that because you do make contact. Now, in Patrick football, we do have a rule where if it's the contact is from bumper to from bumper, you're allowed to do that as long as it's not, like I said, excessive force is okay. But if it's hitting the side of your back of your chair, it's automatic foul, no matter what. Alright, so we've got John's really deep here. And Brad goes for the same type of kickoff. Oh, uh, kick in, sorry. And Marcus there with good dribbling there. And he just flicks it to him. That's a bit of a weird one. He tries to get to Brad and Chris hits it off Marcus. That could have gone anywhere. Should be a two on one, but. And then uh, the linesman and ref not sure what's going on. That's a spy kick. Oh, and John's miscued it. You don't see that often. Oh, Chris throws the dummy in there. Keeps going. Marcus hits it. It's a decent hit, but it's not going to go anywhere. And John dummies in there. Chris goes with the fake again. He flicks it out. Dave needs to go to the ball there. I'm going to check that out. So here... Dave's got to go to this ball and front bump it back because he does not have the time to let it roll to him. Look, Dan's there and cuts it out. So for me, Dave, he's got to come forward, front bump it back to Chris. But he doesn't do it. And Aspire pulling them apart here. Nice touch. Good play there by Dan. Back across to Brad. And good cut out by Marcus. Good pass by Chris. Oh, and John's on. Can you hit this? Yes, he can. A great save. Now, as you, I've said before, when I've done videos on John like this before, when he's open, he's dangerous. He can shoot from any range and score. So there, they pop it around. That's the problem with Aspire. If you play open and you pass the ball about, they will cut it out and pass it back. It's a very fine line. You have to be very careful when you're passing. Aspire will pick it off and use that against you. And again, they're trying to take it into the corner. I waste a bit of time. Dan's just trying to go there. Dylan's won it. And again, goes to the brick wall and John, and should be West Bomb's ball. Okay, he's giving it a spy ball. Maybe there's a deflection I didn't see. Brad takes the kick in. Dylan cuts it straight out. John's on it. I just want to explain that little little thing here. John, John does his thing, yeah, where he, he sort of he touches the ball here, and look, he sort of. I can put like, a sort of like a body faint yeah he sort of swings his chair but doesn't do anything and he throws people off there's little little details like that people don't understand why John is so good because he can do things like that right it's just a little you see that little body faint now against a lot of players that body faint will throw him off but obviously Marcus knows John does that type of stuff now balls on for Brad. Brad waits and waits and waits. And take that back. It doesn't quite catch it. But I just want to show you here. Everybody's backing off Brad. Now when you watch the game. A lot of coaches. A lot of players tell you right. You need to go towards Brad. But the best thing to do. Is let Brad hit it. Because once he hits it. You can read where it's going and cut it out. If you charge towards him, he hits the ball around you, you can't do anything to stop it. If you're going towards the ball and the ball gets hit behind you, you're not going to be able to move because your momentum of your chair is taking you forwards. So by the time you're able to stop, turn around and get to it, the ball's gone past you. So what a lot of players do is they'll back off a shot, get their chair in the correct position and then read the shot. That's what they're doing here. Look, back off. Chris could easily charge right at Brad here, but he's not. He's backing off. Stay on the goal line. 
stay back and it enables Chris to get a save. Now if the shot was harder, it would have been different. See? So again, that whole thing, Aspire, they're boxing you in. See, so here, Chris is charging after the ball. So Aspire just ping it around you, look, one, two, three, and it was almost a goal. See what I mean? So when you're playing against Aspire, you cannot go to the ball. You just can't, because they're just ping it around you. Now Chris goes to press, but John just hits it around. A better ball here from down across, and Brad's got a chance. But they recycle it. Unlucky there, and they there. Chris there hits it out. But you don't want to be doing this. That hit out is straight to John. Now, lucky he miscues that. That's not normal from John. He normally will bang that, but when you're not passing, you have to be so careful where you put the ball. Because a spire can just take it off you. That's good by Marcus, takes a touch. Oh, I think he hits the player on the bench. <laughs> Can't quite see what happened there. Looks like he crashed. Right, so John just has a word with Dan quickly. Little discussion. Now Tom's on the ball. Another thing I must say, Tom's the goalkeeper in yellow right there. He's very defensive in this match. He's not coming out of the box at all. Because he knows, isn't it? They let a goal in, they could lose. So they play it safe. And there, Marcus clips the back of John. Did he say play on? Okay, they're playing on. Now, I thought he blew the whistle there. Okay, gave us a set ball, okay. Both going at it. Yep. Yeah. And John's just done him again. Dave's getting involved. Trying to fight, and that's quite a little contact there. But they're going for it. They're going for it. They're battling. But this is not helping West Brom at all. They need a goal. Brad and John having a conversation. Talking about what they're gonna eat for dinner tonight, probably. The ball's in. And Chris with the big hit, but John's read it. Dan takes a two touch. And for me, there, the two touch shouldn't happen there. Now, Dan gets the ball here for me. He's got a front bumper that because Chris is going towards Dan a little bit. So if Dan here front bumps it back, Chris is out of position. John can have a shoot or get it across. So that's the play in my opinion. I think the two touch was the wrong move because Dylan comes out there and takes the ball. Now there is contact there. Run. That is a foul. He did clip the back of his shirt. Now West Brom being very aggressive in this match because they know it. they got all the work to do. Now we've got 38 minutes in. We've got two minutes to go. If there's a winner, it's got to happen soon. So one, two, Dan full rotates and miscues it, unlucky. It's a good attempt there, just mistimed it. So Chris there with a goal kick. Let's see where he's going. Straight to Marcus, Marcus hits the back of his chair. Brad's on, and Chris with a fantastic ball there. That full rotation there, what a pass. But it's straight to John, Chris is trying to hit it, and it. John's on. He doesn't hit it because he can see Dylan's there. Uh, unlucky there. But you can see it's just not happening for West Brom. They've not even had a shot or pass opportunity. It's all been a spire. It's a good touch there. Takes it wide. It does. Chris gets round him. Chris does well. He, he gets past John. John's reversing. Gives it to Dave, goes for a big hit, John's read it, takes it round, good play there by Chris. Yeah, he's done him. Let it roll to Dave. Dave hits it, Chris. Just not enough pace on the ball there. Now, unlucky, you can really see Chris trying to force that ball. It's just not happening, man, it's just not happening. 
ball goes down the line, Dan takes it. It's a good battle going on. So you can see, a spy are not interested in passing this right now. You can see there's a couple minutes to go, why would you risk it, right? You might as well take the ball down, dribble it, waste time. Do what you gotta do, man. Now Chris misses the swipe. John's on. Take it into goal, good battling. Again, John's just waiting for Chris to take it off him. And there's nothing Chris can do. He gets round him. Good flick. And oh my god, he's done it. Dan has scored. Spire 1 0 up. The crowd goes wild. Look at them. <laughs> Now, I've got to go back, right? Because I don't know what the hell West Brom are doing here. All right, Chris is completely out of position. And what did I say? Don't press the ball. So Dylan here, number 27, he's in goal. He decides to rush out. John gives it a flick. And Dan scored. Now that goal does not happen if Dylan doesn't come out. If, D if Dylan Kessel his stays on the goal line, he can save this, right? That look, he comes to John. Dan's got open goal. Now, what I must say is West Brom have to do something, right? Even if that goal doesn't go in and the game stays nil-nil, it doesn't matter. Aspire still win. So in a way, that goal doesn't really matter. It just means Aspire confirm it. But Aspire defending either way. Just want to point that out, but there's not much you can do about it, to be honest. And family, friends, carers, everybody's going mad, parents. Aspire's bench are coming on the pitch. Now, this is Aspire's first league title in seven years, in five seasons, I believe. So you can imagine they're very happy about this. And that's full time. Literally, go at the death, and that means Aspire in the league. Congratulations to you, Aspire. So yeah, man, that's going to be the end of the video. And like I said, this happened last week, so I already knew what happened. But yeah, goal in the last minute. Can you believe it? Bit of Fergie time there. Absolutely spot on, man. But what a goal. Again, dodgy defending, but hey, sometimes shit happens, I suppose. So yeah, man, if you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Like I said before, congratulations to Aspire Football Club for winning the Premier League. And yeah, man, that's going to be the end. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. Ah, peace! <laughs>